the garage today, I've had a little spill on the mighty wind. I've managed to bugger up both foot pegs, brake, pedal, and I've scuffed the crash bars, which has annoyed me, but it has saved me panels, exhaust, indicators, handlebars, etc. So what I'm going to do today is sort the uh, bit of paint out, put some new um, foot pegs on, which I've just dug out of my spares box, they're not off this bike, but I'll make them fit for now until I can get the uh, correct ones, and I've got the rear brake pedal to repair straighten i come off on a roundabout near our local bus depot believe it or not was going round it real gingerly and it just went just went from underneath me both wheels low sided it uh felt a bit of an idiot uh in 30 odd years of riding that's probably the fourth time i've come off on the road uh, but uh, these knobby tyres and wet roundabouts with diesel on them don't go together. So just be careful on them roundabouts this time of year. It's getting a bit cold, damp and greasy. I should have known better. That's why I'm warning you. Right, I'm going to get on with the repairs now and uh, have a cup of tea. So, let's get these foot pegs modified and get them fitted so I can get back out. Okay, over to the repairs. Right, jack the bike up. Let's have a look at that damage. Foot peg, brake lever to sort out rear brake lever. We've got rear foot rest just to take a file to sort that out. Paint there, just file the edges there. I have got a bit of paint off there. And a bit of paint off there. So, first job, I'll try and straighten this. I haven't got any gas for me oxyacetylene, so I'm gonna have to do it cold, which uh, is not the best, but get a shifting spanner on it. We'll just see if we can tease that out a bit. And now, if I can just pull that round a bit, that'll do for now. Sort that out, get some paint on there. There, got a little bear on there as well. So we'll just take that off with the file. Mind your elbows on these, so now when you do a stuff like this, got to have your tongue right. So always get your tongue right when you're doing stuff like that. Makes life a lot easier, it's pretty tidy. Right, Oof. so the paint. So, what I've been doing is, I've got the paint in my pocket just to warm it up a little bit. Now, right, so what I've done is, I've got this foot peg and I've taken it from that to that. So, this now will go in here. With that bolt there, oh, put a bit of air around it, might get it in. Oh, wheel there, we're in. So, foot peg for now falls about the way. I've got no spring on it because it doesn't have one, but I can nip that up there, give it a little bit of friction, it'll be fine. Just got to do the same on the other side, and uh, we'll back up and run it. So what I've done, I've obviously straightened this. I've fitted these lovely Lex Moto Venom foot pegs I had kicking about. So what I've done is I have modified it. I put the bolt through and it was a bit slack. So what I've done is I've got a washer wedged in between um, 
there and there to give it a little bit of friction so it's not rattling about but it will drop out the way if might be a bit better with this rubber on as well right so that's the free wind done that's that foot peg done i'm going to do the other side you don't need to see that um one thing to say be careful on those greasy roundabouts you don't want to look an idiot like i did so see you in the next video lay back ride wide